Hey, Facebook Live. This is uh, again Rich Fontaine with Daily Motivations, 365 Days of Consistency, doing the same things over and over again till they become habit. And I uh, switched my office around a little bit. Actually, I'm getting more natural light. I look good, man. I look good. <laughs> I think I might want to go with the more natural light. Hey, Miriam. Thank you for joining us today. Uh, and again, if I don't ever shout you out, it's not that I'm dissing you. It's just I can't see you sometimes. Facebook doesn't uh, let me see all the comments and people that are watching. But like the great Jay-Z said, you could be anywhere in the world and you're here with me. So I appreciate that. And thank you very much for taking your time to watch this. And so today I want to talk to you about something that I've struggled with, um, definitely in my past, um, even somewhat in the present sometimes, that I, I want to get over myself and I want to be better at. And so it's something I wanted to chat about is don't be afraid to invest time and money into your dreams. See, many times we want things to manifest for ourselves we want to create things we want to have a great program we want to have a great book we want to have a great business we want to have a great business model we want to have a great service we want to have a great product and we want to have a great life but sometimes we don't invest the time or the money into those things that we want and in knowing what you want you have to understand that you have to put in the time and the money to get what you want. It is the law of compensation. You have to give before you receive. It's like the story that Earl Nightingale tells us about the man who looks at his chimney at the fire and says, give me fire and then I'll add the wood. <laughs> when you have to add the wood first, you have to add the wood first. I remember I went, this is like my third, actually behind me, it's my third camera. Um, that I purchased in trying to pursue good video content, um, which one camera got stolen, the other camera broke, and this is the third one. And this is probably my most expensive one. And at first, I was like, oh, I really don't want to buy this camera. Like, I don't want to buy this camera. Like, I don't want to put in the money, you know, what if something else happens to this camera? But my goals and my dreams were that more powerful to say, Rich, go get the camera. If you want to create video content that people can consume that will help them, you have to put in the money. And you have to put in the time to write down these lessons and these courses, to write these books. And most people, you know, if you ever read my book, Destiny on Purpose, I talk about the four quadrants of time. The four quadrants of time. And I won't go too much deep into it now, but one of the quadrants is um, proper preparation which should be majority of your time or focus. But in actuality, that's people's least focus and time. It's proper preparation. Preparing yourself for the win. Preparing yourself for the win. So if you need banners, like we bought banners for um, when I go out and I speak, that was an investment. And I had to invest in time to creating that banner. And I had to create time to read books so I could get better at writing books. I had to spend time at workshops so I could get content and better myself. So I invested tons of money, tons of time. When I joined the Les Brown Institute, that wasn't free. <laughs> that costs some money. Also, it costs some time to send Les the videos, to practice my speech so I could get into the Institute. See, everything that you want takes those two major investments, time and money. And I was listening to Grant Cardone. He says whenever he gets a big surplus of money, he never keeps it. He reinvests it back into his business and back into his real estate. Why? Because the money itself is, is invaluable. It's not, it's pieces of paper, it's not valuable. It's only valuable when you could exchange that money for a service, a product, or something to help build. So if he's building new equipment, new software, adding new employees that help market, those are proper investments to use your money. See, I, I know some people, whenever they get a surplus of money, they think it's their own money, <laughs> which is erroneous. It's a complete misconception. It's not your money. 
If somebody pays you a money for a service, I want to tell you, it's not your money. That is money. That's the business's money. And so that money has to be reinvested into the business. I remember once I got, I spent money on a tax return class because I want to, I got basically wiped out of my taxes. And so in order for me to have a better tax return, I started learning about taxes. I invested money and time to learn about taxes that actually got me more money back in years to come. See, the time invested in that small portion created more money. When you invest your time and your money, you're actually creating more of it. But when you take the money and you spend it on something, on something for you personal, it doesn't, it's not reinvested, it can't grow, it's gone now, it's gone. But when you reinvest it, it comes back. So now what I did was I took that additional money that I did a tax return and I spent it, hear this, I spent it on creating my business. The nerd cover, the publishing, uh, uh, the, the videos, everything, I reinvested the tax return into that. Why? Because it does nothing for a new pair of sneakers for me. It does nothing for a new t-shirt for me because I wear that t-shirt for a few years and then it's gone in the trash. Versus if I reinvest that money into a business, that business creates income that keeps the flow going. So when you invest your money in your time, in your dream, that's when you actually are growing the dream. Versus when you spend the money or the time and you squander it, like, hey, I could put in time in my business. I could put in the effort in my business. I could spend more time researching. I could do all that. But, you know, who wants to do all that? Nobody wants to do all that, right? Of course not. But like my great, like the great my mentor, the great Les Brown said, do the things today others won't do to have the things tomorrow others won't have. Do Make the sacrifices today to have the things others won't have tomorrow. And that's how I think. I think of less instant gratification and more long-term gratification. What do I want in five years? What do I want in 10 years? What do I want in 20 years? And so my decisions with my time and my money goes towards the future, never in the present. Because the present is the past to, summed up that came today. So if I want my future present to be good, I have to invest the time and the money in the present to make my future present outstanding. So when you are willing to invest your time and your money, so ask yourself, ask yourself th this week, how do I spend most of my time on? And now is this going towards my future dream and my future goals or is this going away from it? How am I investing? How do I spend my money? Do I spend my money going towards my future goals or do I spend my money going away from it? So every time I relinquish cash from my pocket, that's the question I ask myself. Is this going towards what I want or is this not going towards what I want? And if you make every single decision with your time and your money toward what you want, you're going to get what you want. It just has to happen. It has to happen. It's accumulation. It's compounding, it's energy. As you accumulate and compound energy, it grows in anything, in anything. It's science. And your focus is growth. Your focus is energy. And as you focus on one thing, grows and grows and grows and expand, it has to manifest itself. It's law, it's nature. It has to happen. So this week, whatever you're spending your money on, or your time, if you're quarantined or not quarantined, doesn't really matter. Whatever you're spending your time on, reevaluate that and see is this going towards what I truly want the lifestyle the dream that is in my heart to accomplish or is this not going towards it is this going towards back to old habits is this going back to the old me it's not going this is going towards instant gratification those that's the split that's the split between those who get what they want and those who do not is they evaluate how I spend my time and how I spend my money and they put it, point it to a direction. And the ones that point it to the direction of this is what I truly want, this is what I want to accomplish, always get it, man. They always get it. I, interview after interview, they said, man, I spent tons of money on my education. I spent tons of time learning this crap. I spent tons of energy while people are going out. When I started writing my first book, I remember this story like it's yesterday. I'm going to leave this story. I'm going to end it. 
uh, my boy Jeremy, he calls me up and he's with like these four or five girls, right? And he's like, Rich, yo, you gotta come to the bar. I'm on international driving with these five chicks. Yo, I show them the picture. They think you're handsome. They want you to come through. Yo, uh, get here as soon as you can. And I said, man, I'm in the middle of writing a chapter. And he said, a chapter? What are you writing a chapter for, man? Listen, you need to come out here. Come get this instant gratification. <laughs> and I said, nah, man, I can't do it, brother. Um, I'm going to stay here and I, I'm going to finish out this chapter. And he said, lame. And then I remember he saw me at my book launch. It was one of my, my best book launches I've ever had. I loved it. And he was there. He said, you know what, man? I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. See, one decision was going towards my goal. One decision was going away from it. I could have went out that night, but what would I have gained? But me being disciplined, me being disciplined and staying on task helped me create a career for myself. So the only difference is, are you, what are you spending your time and your money on? Truly evaluate it. And are you disciplined enough to spend your time and your money on the things going towards your goal or the things going away? Again, this is Rich Fontaine with uh, Daily Motivation 365. Uh, episode 111. This is a special. 111. <laughs> 111. This is a special episode. So please like, please share, please comment. Put this with your friends because this is it. This is one of the keys, major keys to success. Your time and your money. How do you invest it? How do you spend it? How do you save it? Trust me. <laughs> hey, I appreciate all of you. And soon, uh, somebody actually asked about this. The planner, I'm actually going to have available on my website by Mar or by May 2nd. Um, but if you are interested in the Right to Grow Rich planner, how to stay on task in writing your new book, how to set a schedule, because nothing happens without a schedule, um, this is actually available. Um, not yet on my website, but you could email me or DM me or message me and I'll get you this actually at a cheaper price now before it actually goes on the website. All right? So I appreciate all of you taking your time to watch this. Jazz, thank you for the love. Uh, Miriam, thank you for the love. Marilyn, thank you for the love. I appreciate all of you and everyone else that had a chance to watch this. I love you. Thank you so much. Namaste.